I have a dual role uh, here today, apart from the fact that I'm a chemist by training and managing director of one of the companies that deals with nanotechnology uh, here in Greece, Nanophos. Uh, my other hat is uh, about representing uh, Hemexpo, one of the most closed bonded association of producers for the uh, marine industry. And actually what I'm doing is transferring uh, the experience of discussing together about the technologies and where we are going, where we are heading uh, in terms of delivering innovation in the shipping industry. So um, I was really impressed about uh, the, the definition of smart uh, given by, uh, by our chairman because uh, uh, he underlined the word, the word uh, value. And I think that this is the key point uh, for being innovative, for being smart. It's not only delivering a technology, a technology from its own uh, cannot really um, underline the value, but it is um, also the power to create a more hassle-free uh, world for the shipping industry, uh, for our operations, and uh, uh, for, for the type of the modern uh, trading. So, to my opinion, innovation, being smart, is an overlapping, there are, there are three overlapping cycles there, and uh, actually is what is really desirable, desirable to users, what can be made with this technology, and uh, what is actually viable in the marketplace. Essentially, believe it or not, there is a huge mass, a huge effort uh, behind delivering a product behind uh, adding value. And this is the key point that the technology actually um, ha must be the tool in order to develop and uh, innovation. So instead of having uh, really a big mouth and trying to, to push technology, actually what we have to do is to hear about the problems uh, that the industry is facing and use the technology in order to, develop, to deliver innovation, and uh, finally, smart uh, solutions. As I told you, I'm very, very proud to present you today how this smart thing, innovation and technology, is here in Greece. Because we are in a blessed uh, area that we can have continuous communication with the stakeholders, with the ship owners, the port authorities, and all the legislation bodies in order uh, to, to understand their problems and deliver the um, uh, new technologies. Um, I can briefly uh, talk to you about uh, Sel Selma, a company that delivers um, uh, controlling systems for uh, energy efficiency, but in the field of um, um, temperature uh, control, I can name um, the Farad, where there are uh, heat exchangers and very, very efficient uh, air-conditioned units by Cyclotherm. Uh, those, company, those companies really can understand what efficiency, energy efficiency, efficiency can mean um, in terms for uh, temperature control. Talking about big data and uh, the way that uh, modern uh, fleet management is uh, taking uh, place. A company that uh, comes from uh, northern Greece, Prisma Electronics, has already installed systems for uh, remote monitoring of the vessels for efficiency and performance. With their systems, uh, called LAROS, they have achieved to continuous assess the status, the condition of a vessel all over uh, the world. Additionally, uh, it cannot be hidden uh, that uh, systems and companies like uh, EPEP and Ermafirst has developed pioneering uh, technologies in terms of um, uh, water treatment, even though it is ballast treatment or bilge water uh, treatment. These systems come uh, with a high efficiency in order uh, to deliver small technologies for the uh, next era vessel. Um, I'm uh, talking about uh, technologies. I should uh, definitely 
um, underline the role of uh, Raycap. Raycap is a company also from, from Northern Greece. When I first met uh, these people back 10, ten years uh, ago, they were very, very proud to keep um, the Air Force One, uh, the presidential aircraft of the United States, with a surge protection system. And I think that today they have delivered even better systems for the modern uh, vessels. And Olivia Electronics, also from Northern Greece, uh, for emergency lighting and detection uh, systems. Of course, LED um, is uh, another smart technology for the modern um, uh, vessels um, that reduces energy uh, consumption. And um, which of you could imagine that the galley system made by Aluminox actually increase the overall efficiency uh, in a triple way in terms of energy, labor, and uh, resources uh, management? Companies like Uteco can uh, uh, revolutionize the, the temperature measure, measurement and control. And uh, um, ropes uh, manufacturing from uh, Koronakis. They, uh, I was uh, recently there in order to identify that they have uh, even a 60 ton uh, testing equipment uh, for being sure that um, the innovations they have delivered meet uh, the performance criteria of the ship owners. The all these technologies can be easily um, simulated uh, so as to minimize the time from uh, the concept uh, to the time to, to the market. And uh, FEAC is uh, also a very capable company. Closing, last but not least, I can easily talk about uh, nanotechnology uh, driven um, companies like uh, Nanofos. Um, and I think here innovation is very, very important because uh, we only think that coatings can just protect from corrosion or uh, uh, anti-fouling, but who of you can really imagine that coatings can thermally insulate? Or coatings, for example, can, uh, have, uh, can absorb impact uh, energy um, uh, from the sea, so they can make more efficient, safer, uh, and long-lasting uh, vessels. Closing, I want to uh, uh, underline once more that uh, SMART is coming from the interaction of technology owners with the uh, real-life uh, market. And uh, technology can never become SMART unless there is a close interaction, there is a close cooperation for driving technology to the, solution, um, to the solutions and the efficiency that we need for modern uh, vessels. Thank you very much for your attention.